Hey guys, Kill5630 here, and welcome to a uh, big really group chat. It's the first one of the summer. Let's get the let's get right into it. So Cameron was evicted from the Big Brother house last night. Didn't even spend a night in the house. He did all those interviews. So was stuck in sequester and did all that for nothing. Poor dude. He's part of the club now. Jody, Glenn, and now Cameron are the night one evictees. Personally, I think it's so stupid how they had to have someone evicted on night one now. I hope they don't do that next year. I hope they have a battle back. I liked Cameron. I like, I actually did like Cameron. I don't think he would win the game. I think he would definitely make it to like top top six or something if he was actually given the chance to play the game. Uh, but, hey, it's whatever. I think people caught on to the nerdy luck, how the nerdy dude always wins. Uh... Let's see, what can we talk about? Paul's back in the house. I'm, I'm personally excited for some friendship. I need some friendship in the house. The house guys seem, they seem likable this year. Some of them I like, some of them I don't like. Raven seems kind of annoying. Josh, I'm calling him right now. Josh is going to get expelled. He's going to get expelled like week three or something. He's going to get into a fight with like Paul. Maybe uh, Christmas, I don't know. Some people who I think have a good shot of winning this game. I think Mark has a good shot. Um, some people may disagree with me on this, but this is my opinion. I think Mark has a good shot of winning. He reminds me of Ryan from Season 9. He got second place. He didn't win, but he put a pretty good game, in my opinion. Uh, I would say Christmas has a good shot of winning, but after her decision yesterday of saying ha to have a vote instead of a competition, it's really making me consider like reconsider that thought. We'll have to see. It's only been one night, but Christmas seems like she has a good shot. But that, I don't know what she was thinking, having a vote. Like some CrossFit champion wants a vote instead of a competition. Uh, let's see who has a good shot. I think Elena could have a decent shot. She seems like very cutthroat and ruthless. Some people are very likable, like Ramsey's. I think you could. He, he, he's like one of those guys that can be well liked by everyone that he can, I wouldn't say float his way through, but he can definitely flow under the radar, go under the radar for a while. Uh, I think everyone has to say that Paul is a shot of winning. Like, the return he always makes it far, or at least they make it fairly far. He could be the first one now. I do think Paul probably has the best shot of winning right now, but we'll have to see. Uh, people who I think will be, like, the first evicted. People who will be, like, the first, oh, obviously Cameron's the first evicted, but I'm talking about, like, uh, the next one evicted, I guess I should say. Someone like Alex, who made it, who did very well in that, uh, endurance competition yesterday. People, people may be on the lookout for her. Uh, obviously, people are probably intimidated by Christmas. There's uh, Jason, who has never even seen the show in his life. I don't know why they picked this guy. He even said in his interview with Jeff Schroeder, he has never even seen the show, never seen an episode. Hell, he probably didn't even know who Julie Chen was. He was probably sitting up there saying, who's this lady? Like, this guy, I don't know what the hell he's doing up there. He's probably going to get out early. Josh... I don't even know if I have to talk about this guy. He's gonna get expelled. We don't have to worry about him. He's not gonna make it far. He'll get it. He's the next Willie. He's gonna get into a fight with somebody for some stupid reason, because he's a half nut. Uh, I'll definitely do a more in depth prediction of who will get sixteenth place, seventeenth. Well, we already know seventeenth place is Cameron. But like, we'll we'll do the whole rundown. Like, who will be in the jury, pre jury, who will be the finalist. But currently. I'm currently leaning on Paul winning the show, but that could obviously change. Like, we know how he plays. He says he's changing up his game. He was very loyal his first season, so maybe he'll be a backstabber, someone who'll be ruthless, kind of like Dan in season 14. Who knows? Uh, that's really all I can talk about right now, guys. Um, I'll definitely be back tomorrow. We have Crash Bandicoot, finally. I've been waiting for it for like a year. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll check back for tomorrow's live stream. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.